Hello friends, today we are going to study about trigonometry. In ancient time, our mathematicians want to find the distance between the stars and planet. So they cannot directly find the distance between the stars and the planet with the help of measure tape. So they started a different branch of mathematics that is called trigonometry with the help of this. They had found out the distance between different stars and planets. And it is so important because trigonometry has a great role in the development of our world. So it is very important to study about trigonometry. So look here. A girl is sitting here and looking at the top of a tower. This is tower. This is a girl. and looking at the top of the tower if we want to find this distance from this girl to the top of the we can find out with the help of trigonometry but here i am not going to show you how what or how we are going to find for studying this first we should know the basics about the trigonometry here Trigonometry is used for a right angle triangle. Look here, this was the tower and girl was looking and always the tower or tree or anything that is perpendicular with the base. It is always forming a right angle triangle. So trigonometry is all about a right angle triangle. Then the basic thing, they had find the ratios of the three sides and given some name to them. We have to write the name and first we have to study about the ratios of this triangle with the help of ratio we can find out the distance from this to this also so first we are going to study about the ratios of trigonometry and what is actually it is look here this is a triangle and we know it is made up of three sides so we have to find out give names to the three sides first of all if I am taking this angle then also the hypotenuse remains the same what is hypotenuse the side opposite to right angle that is hypotenuse or you can say the largest or the longest side in a triangle that is so this will remain same this is hypotenuse this is hypotenuse then the other two sides are there on the basis of the angles the names are given to them so if you are taking these angles then the side opposite to it this is called opposite side and the this will be adjacent when you are taking this angle but when you are taking this angle then this will be your opposite and this will be your adjacent adjacent So when you are, you are having this angle opposite then this adjacent when you are taking this angle this will be opposite and this and hypotenuse will never change it will remain the same. First you should know all the names of the three sides then they had find out six ratios three sides are there dividing two sides any of the two sides and they had find out some ratios and they had given names to that ratios. Look here first they had divided opposite by hypotenuse and given name it sign. S I N E sign to the ratio of opposite by hypotenuse then cosine it is known as cos so I am underlining the three letters because we have to use this only that is called adjacent by hypotenuse then tangent the ratio of opposite by adjacent opposite by adjacent that is tangent we call it 10 these are three basic ratios you can see first I take an opposite by hypo then adjacent by hypo then opposite by hypo now we will reverse the order means it is hypo opposite by hypo so we take it hypo by opposite and they had given name to it 
cosecant cosecant that's why it is called cosec then secant that is opposite to this adjacent by hypos so hypo by adjacent and it is called sec and this is tangent so cotangent that is called cot cot so it will be opposite adjacent by opposite so this way we can find the ratios of this now I am going to teach you how if they had given a triangle look here they had given a triangle having three sides A B C and sides are three centimeter four centimeter and five centimeter so if we want to find out if they tell you find sine A of this so what we have to do sine A means the ratio sine and here A is given to you so first we should know sine means the ratio of opposite by I then you have to find which side is opposite and which side if we are taking this angle so this will be our opposite and this will be hypotenuse so it will be 4 by 5 if they tell you to find sin C what you have to do again we know it's opposite by hypo but now our opposite will change if this angle we are taking then our opposite will be this 3 and hypo remains the same so 3 by 5 so this way we can find the ratios of all if they tell you cos c come on cos c so we know first of all cos gives you ratio of adjacent by i and then adjacent if cos c adjacent will be 4 and hypo is 5 so it will be 4 by 5 so this way we can find all the ratios and my, in my next video I am going to tell you that how on the basis of angle the ratios are changing and they are having some fixed ratio that is called a trigonometric ratio table is given to you you have to buy at the table and there are fixed ratios when this is 0 degree you will get a fixed ratio when it's 15 degree 30 degree 45 degree 60 or 90 degree you are getting a fixed ratio you have to buy at that ratio table so keep watching my videos i'm going to explain in my next video about the trigonometrical table i had made one trick trigonometrical table trick video previously also if you want to watch it so please subscribe to my channel if you like my video Thank you so much for watching my video.